Good morning, you guys. It is early. We've been getting up around 6 a.m. I feel like I get so much more done, especially being a new mom. While Max is still sleeping, I'm going to snack on this banana and head out the door for a quick morning run. And then I will check in with you guys and show you what I'm going to eat for the day as a vegan breastfeeding mom. going for a run? Are we going? Yeah. Spring has sprung. Well, you guys, I did it. It's about three miles, 30 minutes, three months postpartum. Not too bad. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And of course I get to come home to this guy and this guy. <laughs> hey, sweet pea. Did you wake up happy? Can you say <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. A lot of people have this common misconception that working out while you're breastfeeding will make your uh, breast milk supply tank, but that's not necessarily the case. Producing breast milk and breastfeeding requires about 500 extra calories on average. If you are exercising, especially doing cardio, you're going to want to increase your calories again, anywhere from 200 to 500 calories. So mainly it's important, especially if you're working out while you're breastfeeding, to be refueling and rehydrating. So I'm thinking it's a green juice kind of day. So I'm gonna make a green juice, but also because I did cardio, I'm gonna need to refuel with some carbohydrates. So that means lots of fruit, especially being raw till four. I eat lots of fruits during the day to stay fueled and more so eat veggies at night. But I also try to incorporate greens into every single meal of the day. It's super important to get those minerals in especially for me and now for baby too. So lots of fruit, lots of veg, lots of greens. We've got a bunch of lacinato kale, three cucumbers, a handful of celery, lemon. I think I'm gonna do a ginger and turmeric shot and then fresh cilantro. All right, you guys, ginger turmeric shots, bottoms up. Woo, that was stiff. What do you think of that? Is that a big gulp? I'm done. Max is done. Time to change and make breakfast round two. So breakfast round two, you guys, is my raw vegan porridge. It's delicious. I topped it with some elderberry syrup and some wild blueberries. We didn't have fresh, so I got frozen, but the wild blueberries are actually higher in antioxidants than just the regular blueberries. You can see they're a little bit smaller. And it seems like a weird combo, but something I love to do is dip celery sticks in this. It is such a good combo. It's like sweet and salty. Max is crying, he needs a diaper change, and then we've got to head out the door because Bo has to be taken to the groomers. So I will check in with you guys at lunchtime. Before we put the car in drive, you've just got to look at this mom life. We've got Bo, who's headed to the groomer, and we've got Max. All saddled up. Think, buddy, are you ready for a grooming? 
Yeah, we are running to Whole Foods or Whole Paycheck <laughs> to get groceries. So let's go. All right, first stop is the berries. Next stop is the greens. We're gonna get some collards, some dino kale, curly kale, carrots, romaine. Favorite apples would be Granny Smith. I like these for smoothies. Honeycrisp for everything else. You can never have too many bananas or sweet potatoes. These are my favorite variety. And this is Dusty's new favorite non-dairy yogurt. It is almond based. My favorite is frozen jackfruit. If you wanna know how to get fit as a mom, get yourself a car seat and try to curl it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not happening. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not enough to see her. Okay, so just got back from Whole Foods, and this is just a little bit of my spring food haul. So you can see lots of fruits. We've got apples galore, bananas, oranges, and of course avocado, lemons, limes, cucumbers for more juices. We've got a papaya and I found some amazing ripe pineapples. Carrots, I love to chop carrots and dip them in hummus. Bell peppers, always amazing on salads. I've got some dates over there. Over here, these are like my lifeline. I cannot live without fresh berries. So I've got blackberries, I've got them all. They are my favorite. I'm about to rinse those and set them out to dry. I stocked up a little bit more of our sweet potatoes. We already had some, but I always like to have extra. So my two favorite varieties are the garnet. These are orange inside and then the Japanese yam. These are white inside. They literally taste like cake. They're so good. Um, cherry tomatoes are a must. I eat these like candy, put them on salads. Ripe bananas, so I always try to stagger my banana purchases. So I'll buy some speckled and then some green so I can always have ripe on hand. Fun fact, cut your herbs like you would a fresh bouquet of flowers, pop them in some filtered water and put them in the fridge. They will last twice as long, if not longer. Good news, I just called Milkworks to ask about donating my breast milk. They said they actually go through a bank in Denver, Colorado, so all you have to do if you are a mama that's either looking for human breast milk that you need for your baby or you're looking to donate as well, if you're in Nebraska, then it goes to Colorado, I guess. So I have to get on the website and do a pre-screening and then a screening and then also um, a blood test. So they said, I can even donate the milk I've previously pumped, even though I'm just now going to be getting going on the process. She also said, well, do you want help teaching your baby how to take a bottle? And I said, yes. And she asked how old Max is. Max is three months old. And she said, well, unfortunately by that age, it's probably too late. If they're not taking the bottle, they probably won't. So if you are wanting to bottle feed your baby, your breast milk that you've pumped at all, I recommend starting early. We did get Max to take a couple bottles early on, but he won't anymore. So <laughs> we obviously didn't practice the technique enough. But she did say by four months, you can offer your baby a sippy cup that they can drink milk out of. So I'm gonna hopefully bank on that if I ever need it. But for the most part, I think we're attached at the hip anyways for most likely this next year. Max doesn't mind. I really don't mind. I just love him so much. <laughs> So I really don't pump that often. I would say maybe two, sometimes three times a week. I just, oh, I just feel so tied down when I have this pump attached to me, even though I have this bra that like it goes, it attaches to, it makes it a little bit easier because I can get ready while I'm wearing it. Sometimes I would like to pump just to keep my milk supply up a little bit more because the main thing with pumping is the more milk that's coming out of your body, the more your body will produce, that'll bump up your supply. So making sure you're eating, a lot, staying hydrated, drinking lots of water, and nursing or breastfeeding on demand and pumping can also help. All right, Bubba, let's go get Big Brother. Yeah! <laughs> All right, we've got Big Brother Bo. Look how amazing he looks. You are so beautiful, bud. Man, do you have a blowout. Brace yourself. We need to go for a walk. Should we go for a walk when Papa gets home? that stud? Who is that stud muffin? Who is that? I just worked up an appetite carrying a car seat and a bunch of groceries unloading. I'm about to put everything away 
and it's either going to be something fruity or something greeny. So maybe a green salad or maybe a smoothie bowl. I haven't decided yet. What do you guys think? Okay, so like I said, I usually just use my avocado mashed up with lemon for my salads, but since you guys are always asking for good salad dressing recipes, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This can be between me and you. So this is raw tahini. All it is is ground up sesame seeds. I take a tablespoon of this, and you're probably saying, ugh, tahini and lemon, blah. <laughs> I'm not using lemon. You can just do one to two tablespoons of tahini, and the secret is in the coconut aminos. So it's similar to soy sauce, but sweet and salty. There is no soy in it. It's amazing, I love it. Some people may have their qualms with it being a raw food or not, or maybe it's too high in sodium. I eat pretty darn clean. I like salt. This stuff's amazing. And with how much rainbow goodness I'm about to cram in, I think a little coconut aminos can go a long way. If it adds to your enjoyment, I'm all for it. This is something that I munch on to get my iodine. It's kind of like the beef jerky of the sea is what I say. It's super ridiculously high in iodine. It's got 2,110% amongst other amazing nutrients. You can also get the flakes and put it on your salad. So here's my salad. I'm enjoying it. Waiting for Dusty to get home so we can go for a family walk because it's 64 outside. It's finally spring. In the meantime, though, getting fueled up with this deliciousness. Papa's finally home. Mm. Thank him for the salad. Mm -hmm. Max really wanted to eat some of that salad. Yeah. Too soon. Too soon, little man. One of the things we did at our Costa Rica retreat was a cacao ceremony, and since then, we have been even more obsessed with cacao than we already were. It is the raw form of cocoa, so no heat is used. Um, it's got an extremely high antioxidant value, higher than acai. So this is what it looks like. This is just pure 100% raw cacao. It's not a sweet treat by any means. It's definitely bitter but it makes you feel amazing. It gives you energy, similar to caffeine, but without the caffeine. On the family walk. So apparently when you have a baby, this is what you do. <laughs> we were never walkers before. Now we're speed walkers. Yep, power walk. <laughs> but I will say it's an awesome workout. If you walk far enough, it's good. Actually though, I think the more important thing is that it's like a therapy session. Because yeah. every time we walk, we have the best talks. We get ourselves motivated and excited. Yep. We like never fight. We always have the best walk talks. Yep. So try it. Try a walk talk and a dog jog. Later. Superman. So two musts in this smoothie. This, by the way, is called my pink bubblegum smoothie bowl, and it's delicious. The jackfruit, the frozen jackfruit, makes it taste like bubblegum, and the pitaya gives it the bubblegum color. This makes the flavor so, so good. And especially while breastfeeding, protein is of utmost importance. Sun Warrior is our favorite. We'll pop the link below if you type in Eat, move, rest as the discount code on the website, you will get 20% off. I'm going to be topping it with our seriously new favorite snack. We've been a big fan of the Baruka nuts, but now they've got the Baruka trail mix. This one you can also find the link below in our bio and type in eat, move, rest again to get another discount. So I used to put these like gluten-free cereal flakes, like frosted flakes basically on my smoothie bowls just because I like the crunch. But now this has seriously taken its place and it's so much better. This is the Baruka nut. They taste like popcorn, no joke, they're so good. And this is the Baruka fruit or the shell and it's super sweet so you get a savory and sweet combo and it is to die for or to live for. Thanks to Darren Olean, Super Life Living for creating such a wonderful product. These nuts are gonna be higher in fiber 
um, than any other nut. They're packed with more nutrition than many other nuts. They're wild grown, pesticide free, and off the charts antioxidant power. So if you guys haven't tried them, you've got to try them. Link is in the description below. Nope. <laughs> Who is that boy in the mirror? Is you that got you? it. Here, bud, look. Who's that handsome Dan? Yeah. <laughs> you got him. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. You look so pretty, baby. So we just got done with a little bit of tummy time with Max, and we are back in the kitchen making a quick and simple and budget-friendly dinner. This one is actually in our budget-friendly recipe video. It's linked below in the description, so go check it out to see exactly how we make it. But basically, it's like an Indian red lentil curry type of dish, and we're gonna get some Sweet potatoes going in the instant pot. <laughs> Alright you guys, so dinner is served. The sweet potatoes are looking a little sparse, but it's because the pressure cooker still needed to cook the bigger ones a little bit longer. And we'll probably get seconds on everything. That being said, if you guys enjoy these What I Eat In Day vegan breastfeeding mom videos, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at the Eat Move Rest fam. We've got lots more goodness where this came from. Make sure the bell is clicked so you get notifications whenever we put out brand new videos. And as always, leave us some love in the comments below. Baby Max says, Eat Move Rest, your best. Good night, guys. <laughs> what are you talking about, mister? Somebody's talking an awful lot. Three months old. Can you even believe Look it? Look at those muscles. <laughs>